My name is Akelvin Mansa. I'm doing diploma in automotive engineering. I'm from Northern Tekenko College. And here today, I'm going to demonstrate our, on how we do ignition timing and the procedures to follow on doing ignition timing, they are as follows. First of all, we have to make sure that we rotate the crankshaft in its normal direction so that we can overlap cylinder number four and cylinder number one will be at completion. Then second, we will go on the distributor we make sure that we set the distributor cap, uh, the distributor loader on cylinder number one to ready to fire. So now we can start the procedure. We we'll remove the distributor high tension cables from the spark rug to the distributor itself. We remove them. Even from the spark plugs. Here we are. Not forget also to remove this high tension cable from the loader, from the coil itself. Then we unclip. This is the distributor cap. In this one, to remove the distributor itself, we're going to use a 12 spanner. And tying it's unclockwise. Okay. You can see even the distributor is moving, meaning that it has become loose, completely removed. And now we can remove the distributor itself from its wall. There you go. Then when we remove this distributor, we have to make sure that, first of all, we know the parts of the distributor before we go further. This is the distributor loader. It's the one which points. There are two contact points. As you can see, they open and close. Open and close. So these are the parts of the distributor we can mention this particular moment of time. Now from there, we have to make sure that we set this distributor loader to be pointing at cylinder number one. Now, how do we know that it's pointing at cylinder number one? We get the distributor cap. They are on top, as you can see, there are numbers. There's number one, according to the filing order, three, four, and two. So if you put it like that, you will know that the loader is pointing at cylinder number one. So you move it like that. So you are able to know now, to see that uh, it's pointing at cylinder number one, just according to the firing order. Now from there, we go to the crankshaft pulley, then we overlap now. We can overlap cylinder number four and cylinder number one. It is a to be at completion. We have to make sure that, not to forget, before you start this procedure, you have to remove the distributor from its hole. Then you also identify the parts. Secondly, we can now go to the rotation of the crankshaft in its normal direction. The normal rotation of the crankshaft is like this. This is the normal rotation of the crankshaft. Our focus is more on cylinder number four, what is taking place to the, to the valves. You see the exhaust valve and the inlet valve moving and this is cylinder number four okay the mark from the crankshaft pulley which is the mark over there as you can see there's a mark that mark should coincide with the zero mark uh, zero degree from the crankshaft case so we we'll make sure it coincides okay there we go meaning we are done with the overlapping meaning Cylinder number one is fully at completion. Now, since we are done with overlapping cylinder number four, making sure that cylinder number one is at completion, we go back to our distributor. On our distributor, we have to make sure now the contact points, they are about to open when the loader is still pointing at cylinder number one. And then we make sure that it's still pointing at cylinder number one. Of course, it's still pointing at cylinder number one. As you can see, this is cylinder number one. Good. From there now, we get our flat screwdriver, then 
we make sure we set it accurately so that it we do not disturb the contact points and then I set so we make sure when inserting it the contact points is still uh, pointing at okay good like that so meaning this is let's check are the contact points about to open yes and they are closing as you can see so meaning you have inserted it nicely then let's check is it cylinder now number one still pointing the rotor is still pointing at cylinder number one we put back this uh, distributor cap we check yes still pointing at cylinder number one so that we do not disturb this uh, whole entire process we have done we have to make sure we tighten it does not move because if it moves it means back we'll go back from where we started from inserting it so we tighten using the 12 span in the clockwise direction so we tighten we tighten fully making sure that the distributor is no longer shaking the reason we are doing so is to make sure that we do not disturb the rotor from where it is pointing from there we put back the distributor cap then we clip it we get uh, uh, the eye tension cables then how are we going to insert these eye tension cables you have to make sure that you insert them according to the firing order of our engine so in this case our firing order is one three four two this is our firing order so you go one then one from there again that's three then three, then four, four, last three, two, and then that is our firing order. At this point of time, we are home and dry and almost finishing. Then next, we also put back the eye tension cable from the coil. We also put back our locker cover on our engine and this is how we do ignition timing